Hi Go Discover fans, Anton here and today we're going to talk about cruising. In this video I'm going to cover setting up uh, flight modes, uh, some new flight modes. In previous videos that I've had I have just used um, uh, manual mode, stabilize and then right down the bottom return to home. But I was flicking through this website the other night and I came across some different modes and one I'm particularly interested in is this one cruise here which is ideal for longer range FPV flights now this mode here will be very much like stability but it'll also maintain altitude and will also have heading lock as well so you you're flying your plane at a certain height you've got it pointing towards somewhere where you want to go you flip it into cruise and it's gonna go there for you and you don't have to to touch anything uh, in my previous videos I've used this switch here, just a three position switch, just for manual, uh, stabilize and return to home. But I, I need to have some, some, more, uh, some more positions to have some more modes. So in this video what I'm going to show you is how I have set up to be able to have manual, stabilize, cruise and then be able to get access to a range of other modes here as well but I have just decided to have return to home on mode 1, 2 and 3 and I'll explain why I've done that uh, in a second. First of all I'm going to show you how to set up uh, in this case a DX8 uh, to be able to get access to the six positions to be able to turn a three position switch into six positions. Right, so first of all I'm going to start with the transmitter off and I need to put it into the system setup mode. So for that I'm going to hold down the scroll bar, uh, scroll button and switch on the radio. And I'm going to go into the system setup and I'll scroll down to uh, switch select. Now what I have decided is that I'm typically using this hand to control the plane so this hand is much more active than this one where typically I got the throttle set I'm not using the rudder channel uh, for for this plane it doesn't have a rudder although I could use the rudder channel for for panning the camera but anyway this hand is probably more active than this one so then I'm thinking about well I'm gonna use the switches on this side so I have more of a free hand to be able to select the switches while still flying. So what I have done is I decided to use this three position switch, in this case on the Spectrum DX8 it's the F mode switch, to have flight mode 1, 2, 3, and then if I flip the gear channel forward that will then turn this into 4, 5 and 6. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So in this system setup I've gone into the switch select and I'm going to go down to gear and select that to be AUX2. Doesn't matter what the other ones are as long as a gear in this case is AUX2. Okay? So once I'm done there I'm just going to back out <coughs> oops, and restart. Now I have Dragon Link so I'm just going to plug that in. Uh, so I'll, I'll just uh, pause the, the camera for a second, plug that in so we can carry on with the next. Okay, so Dragon Link is now, uh, now powered on, now plugged in, if you have that. Otherwise you can uh, just miss that step. And what I'm going to do now is go to Servo Setup and go into Travel and then down to AUX2. And what I need to do is I need to set it to be 8580. Now the way you get access to these uh, different settings is toggling the, the gear switch. So in position 0 now, it's on, it's on this right one. Uh, and in position 1, it then goes over to here. Now you might have it different, you might need to reverse the gear channel, I'll go into that in a second. But anyway, 85 on the left and 80 on the right. So we'll come out of that. Uh, actually we'll go into, just to make sure that we got this properly set, I'll go into reverse and I'll go down to the AUX2 channel and actually it's set in this case to normal. Okay, so then, then uh, that switch should be configured the same as mine. So then we'll scroll down to the mixing menu 
and we will go to mix two and select that. So mix two is here. Now in the beginning this will say inhibit, so uh, let me go back to what it would say, INH, and INH would be here. So you select mix two, uh, sorry, you select aux two and aux two uh, on the mix two screen. And then the rates are uh, minus 40, minus 40, and then the switch is FM1. Okay, so that's set up. Then what we'll do is we'll scroll up to the mix three screen and again, oops, and again we have aux two and aux two. This time it's minus 80 and minus 80 and then the, the switch uh, is FM2. So all of that now is set up. Now, now the radio is set up to give you these six positions. So just uh, uh, an explanation again. Uh, now, my, my preference, I'll just start with this first of all, when I start my radio, I like to have all my switches up and all my switches away from me, uh, so, so that everything is set to normal. Um, now, and, and because of that, I want to set it up so that uh, this is manual mode for me, where these switches are away. I don't want return to home kicking in or fly by wire or anything like that and making the propeller spin around while I got it in my hands. I want this set to manual because I like to take off in manual mode. Okay, um, so this will be manual mode and then I like to have the next position uh, stabilize and then in this case now I'm going to add cruise. Okay. So let's go and have a look at the, the screen here now. So I have Mission Planner switched on. I got the USB cable plugged in. If you have done the same setup as me, you must make sure that you don't have the power module connected because otherwise you're going to blow the board. You don't want to supply um, another power source, two power sources to the, to the board um, on, this, uh, on this side of the board. So make sure that this is unplugged. Be careful of that. Uh, so I've got Mission Planner set up and I'm in the config and tuning and the flight modes. And I decided to have this particular setup here. Now you can go for flight mode one to five, you can change them. So you can go into this list here and you can see manual, circle, stabilize, blah, 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 blah. blah. And all of these modes are described on uh, on this page, plain autopilot uh, com, in the flight modes flight modes page. All of these are explained of 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 what they do. Um, so what I wanted to have, you you can't change flight mode six. It's always set to manual. So I've made it so that let me just try and click away. Oh, you have to the green one. I've made it so that when the switches are away from me, then it's in manual mode. When I select the, when I pull this switch to position one, then it's going to go into stabilize, and you can see here it says stabilize. And then when I pull it back to position two, it's going to go to cruise. So that's the new mode that I'm going to be playing with today. Later in this video, we'll we'll uh, we'll take out the go discover, and we'll play around with the cruise mode and and see how it works. Uh, now, I wanted to have return to launch, return to launch, and return to launch. If anything, if anything goes wrong, it doesn't matter what position this switch is in. If I pull this switch back to me, then it's going to go into return to launch. And it doesn't matter if whatever I select on the F mode switch, it's always going to be in return to launch mode. So if you want to, you can obviously have auto and do a GPS mission. But right now in this stage of the series, uh, I just want to have manual stabilize, start to work with cruise and then have return to launch. And my thinking is, oh crap, something's gone wrong. I've lost my video. Come back to me. And I flip the switch back to me. That's how I'm, that's how I'm thinking in a, in a panic situation. And it doesn't matter what this, maybe I was in a stabilize mode and I just, oh, I need to come back. Or maybe I was in cruise mode, oh, I need to come back. So 
I just want it set up simple like that um, just as I, I learn and progress using the, the APM board. Okay, so um, uh, hope that was, ho hope you can use that. Uh, that will give you access to extra modes. And uh, what we'll do now is go outside, it's a nice day, and we'll test out this cruise mode and, and, and see how it works. Okay, so we're outside and starting off in manual mode. I always want to be in control of what the prop's doing when it's in my hand. So I always take off in manual mode. A good, a good throw to take off. 75% throttle and then very quickly down to about 40. And here I put it into cruise mode. And you see that the, the nose goes down until this mode establishes the right throttle to maintain altitude. So we're also got a bit of stabilize here and heading hold. Now it's starting to get out a little bit out of my, uh, I can't really see it in the sky. I haven't put on my FPV goggles again. So I initiate the turn in cruise mode and you can really see it's quite docile. I'm starting to get quite close to these trees. So I think, oh, I have to bail out. So I throw it into stabilize just to, just so I don't end up uh, crashing into those trees and then very quickly put it back into cruise mode and, and stick my goggles back on. In this flight uh, I'm going to stay around 65-70 meters uh, just to test to see how this mode, mode works and um, it's also a little bit turbulent today so I haven't, I haven't slowed down the movie or anything like that I want you to see how it performs so let's listen to the motor so good you could hear how the the motor was uh, going up and down a little bit as the APM board was trying to maintain the height it's not super smooth but this is the first time I've actually tested this mode and it is quite a turbulent day so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to be if it's quite stable if it's uh, going to have a bit better control but so far it's it's managing to control itself quite well I just made a turn there myself, uh, I didn't want it to go over the houses, I wanted to stay over the fields here and my intention with this flight is just to see the cruise mode going out to about two and a half kilometers. Uh, I'm going to follow this tree line and see how well it goes. So I'm just lining it up to a point to where I want it to go and then from, from now on it's, uh, it's going to have control itself and I'm just going to watch the video feed and make sure if anything goes wrong I'm going to take it back into stabilize or manual mode and, um, and take back control. So as I say around 65 meters um, in cruise mode and uh, again I'll let you listen to, to the motor so you can understand how it's controlling the throttle. happy at this stage with how the cruise mode is working. Uh, it's maintained the height, no problem. It was around 65-70 meters as I recall. Uh, we're out at about two and a half kilometers now and I feel that that's a successful test and, and that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So I put it back into stabilized mode and, uh, and start to head home. So hope you enjoyed this video and it's of use to you. Cheers!